Hello everyone, we are back in Blood and Wine. Last episode, we met up with R Regis, and he essentially told us that the only way we could get the thing he needs for his little potion is for him to essentially go mad, and we need to help him out with that. And we could have gone straight to, to do that and followed it, but before we continue on, I thought I wanted to prepare for this as much as possible. And there it was a quest we had, which was for a smith that would could make us Grandmaster Armor. Which is supposed to be better than Master Crafted, which is what I'm wearing now. So I'm very curious to see what that will be. If we can make it straight away, if we'd have to do a specific quest. So we're going to find out right now, because he's right in here. Hello. You are the man I seek. You are the man I seek. Greetings. Witcher from the school of the wolf. Hey. Here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazala Park. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Brother. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. Mm -hmm. I'm an armor seeker. And I, for years, sought diagrams for witch armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? Offense, but do I look like a rough hewn adventurer? Yes. Besides, nah. who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No. <laughs> I'd rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. Sure, just need to know where to look, and I'll do it. How'd these diagrams wind up in Tucson? All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tucson? How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sai, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. Hey. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some Alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witches firsthand. What he told me, well... That is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. Um... I mean, yes, I will accept this deal, but how did you end up being an apprentice to an elf? Because apparently... The people of Tucson don't like elves, or non-humans in general. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Fair enough, then let me help, and you help me. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the Wolf, Griffin, 
Cat, Bear, and Manticore. Which should I start with? Manticore? What's a manticore? Well, let's just go down the list. Tell me about the wolf. Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Atom. Cool name. I remember him well. My master liked him. Helped him find a safe, yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at the Termas. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. So that means they could still be alive. Um, to, let's just tell me about the griffin. Uh, the one I'm least interested in, but I still want it. The griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as oh, his oh. colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Let me guess, the thing that he was running from is probably still uh, hanging out in Fort Usa. And the gear that I'm wearing now, cat. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lorne, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the ducal guard. A witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delone didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. So that's where I look for that. Um, bear. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tien Sail took me on as his apprentice. I remember... The bear head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. <laughs> True. This one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo vineyard where a building had just collapsed. Time passed. The bear never showed. And my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. Alright, now for the one I'm most curious about, because I've never heard of it before, the Manticore. The school of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it. Though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. Oh. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Murta. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. 
Tien Sail slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Sure. Well, the, now I've got all the locations, um, I am guess I'm going treasure hunting now. Alright, first off, let's go with the armor that I'm wearing right now. Which is going to be... Feline. Um, okay, let's do that. Whereabouts is it? It's to the north. I watch a lot of, um, well not a lot, I watch a fair few people play through The Witcher and I get annoyed when they do side quests instead of the main story. And then once I started this, I once I stopped recording, I was like, holy shit, I'm doing the exact same thing. So I'm trying to stay on track, but this is something that I'm very curious about. Hopefully it'll only take me one episode to do it. Alright, I assume that right there is the house. So check a right here and then we'll just go here. Now you have reached your destination. Alright, anyone home? I want to assume there is no one home. Hopefully the door Gotta find is open. Wait, oh, yeah, it sounds like there's people in there. Alright, let's go. Let's find a way in. This must be it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yep. Gotcha. 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 Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Oh, I thought that guy was doing the Running Man challenge, but he's just stomping a corpse like an asshole. Hey, dickheads! Pick on someone your own life or whatever. That was a really bad one. Yeah, you're damn right I am. Oh great, we got an archer on our hands. Whew. Okay. Ah, come on! And, whoop. and I'll see you later. Now we just got these pricks to deal with. Uh oh. Play it safe, play it safe. Yeah, I did. What are you expecting me to do? What are they getting poison from? Is it my sword? I completely forget what buffs I put on my sword. Well, yeah. Check this out. And Jedi time. Delicious, definitious. Make the boys good luck go. What's happening? My soul cannot handle this. It simply cannot. Oh, let me all his wounds. Calm down. It's over. I thank you, sir. And you must forgive me my momentary loss of composure. Are you in need of accoutrements, monsieur? What? What's in the Kutcherbata? Well, Garrett knows what it is. I'm gonna follow him. My boy! Um, well, well, let's take a look at your wares real quick. What do you have that you're willing to sell? Um, fuck all. Well, except for this, maybe. Maybe I'll just take some of this off your hand, eh? Here we go. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I didn't even know how to make a die yet. But it might come in use. What are you doing here? Villa looks abandoned. You its owner? More its temporary steward. By order of the treasury minister, I am to serve as caretaker of Count Deloni's properties and estates. The Count is missing. Hmm. Yet, no one at the palace warned me. Villa fit that this the lair of bandits. 
That is to say, it was, but is no more. Thanks to your heroism, Monsieur Witcher. Hey, no worries. You know, it's what I do, it's what I do, it's what I do. Looking for scrolls, manuscripts, bearing diagrams of Witcher gear specifically. Any chance you've happened on any? I've not yet managed to inventory the sundries. I arrived just a short while ago. The bandits arrived with their terror. But you may ferret about if you so wish. I believe I shall ferret to my heart's content. Thanks. Thank you very much. So long. Get home safe. Alright. Let's loot these guys. See if they have any Witcher manuscripts on them. And it's a big load of nothing. So maybe at the front! Ooh, order, order from Reuben and a key. Reuben, some quill pusher from her grease that Dung Quest has caught, <laughs> good one, has been sniffing around Villa Vedette. Don't reckon I need to explain why I don't like that, eh? Nor how much. Uh, you ought to find this clerk and kill him. Burn the building. Anyone in, in there with him, the noose. No raping, no impaling. Keep it simple. Then head back to the R Thatch ruins quick, because I've got another job for you. A Stragon. Are we against the clock with some banners trying to get my gear as well? Because it's my gear and I want it. Okay, okay, shot. Uh, you want to hear what you get? Oh my. Letter to Bartolome de Dudubi. Dear Bartolome, I have received your letter and am delighted you have found a solution to your problems. The witcher you described does indeed seem dangerous, and you yourself always told me that they are all freaks and cold hearted murderers. And despite all that, I still think you should agree to his offer. Uh, the, his offer. If those diagrams truly do outline revolutionary new methods in armor smithing, not only will you be able to complete the contract Her Grace has given you, but you will also earn a great deal of glory for yourself, and that, I know, is what you value above all else. Going to the bandits who dwell in the ruins of Arthatch Palace for protection is a wise move. If the knights could not get the best of them, a witcher will also feel duly cowed in their presence. Co cow I don't know. Shady miscreants of all types always respect each other. Still be extra careful during that meeting. Bandits and witches are not to be trusted. Yours truly, Belina da de Dudu. Another tale of a life compromised and ultimately claimed by greed and ambition. Come on, that's just, that's just the waste. Of course there's a cucumber in the frickin' bedroom. All right, so where do I go now? Over there, it's, you know, it's just a small jaunt. Just a little, a, a small, a little, a little jaunt. Maybe there's something up here. Not just a bunch of rope to which we can hang ourselves, I'm sure. Yeah, sure, why not? Grapes and honey, perfect mix. And we're fallen. Alright. I'm sure you can get out of here fine by yourself, good sir. I will see you on the floppy flop. Come along, Roach. We have another place to explore. <laughs>